Police are stepping up patrols at a popular South Valley shopping mall after a rash of crimes. $48,000 worth of merchandise was stolen yesterday from the Sunglass Hut at the Tulare Outlets. Two weeks earlier, two women were robbed at gunpoint in the parking lot. CBS 47's Liv Johnson spoke with Tulare Police and joins us now live in studio. Liv. Well, police say they have been surprised by the recent uptick in criminal activity at the outlet, and because of that, they're increasing patrols in the area. Both investigations are ongoing. You know, there's, out, there's people out there looking for opportunity, opportunity to victimize others. Tulare Police Sergeant Eddie Hinojosa responding to recent crimes that have taken place at the Tulare Outlet Mall. The first one on December 29th, two elderly women robbed at gunpoint in the parking lot, one of them saying they were pistol whipped. She was approached by three suspects, I believe. Two, one of them stayed in the car. Two of them approached her on foot. One had a gun. On January 10th, police say four suspects walked into the mall's sunglass hut and began filling their own bags with the store's most expensive merchandise, stealing $48,000 total. Officials believe it's the same group that's robbed sunglass hut stores in Bakersfield, San Luis Obispo, and Fresno. One black female adult, three black male adults. One employee was smart enough to know the possible route the suspects might lead, and he was able to see that it was a white Chevy Malibu with Indiana license plates. Hinojosa says crime at the outlets has increased significantly since 2020. According to officials, from December 1st through January 10th of 2020, there were eight robberies at the Tulare outlets. In that same time period in 2021, there were 17 robberies. From December 1st through January 10th of 2020, there were 94 thefts. In 2021, that number jumped up to 156. It, it does seem like it's on the rise just a little bit. What we've done is we've stepped up patrols in that area. We've asked for officers to spend as much time in that area as they can while they're on duty. I did reach out to the outlet's management company, but they were not available for comment. Both investigations are ongoing and no suspects have been arrested. Live in studio, I'm Liv Johnson, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.